Hi, I'm Dr. Kanner from Kanner Spine. I'm here with Rodney, who now is two years after his cervical spine reconstruction. And what I want to do is let Rodney explain why he came here, what the symptoms you were experiencing were, and what we did about it, and kind of where you are now. So why don't you tell us what your, your initial problem was? Sure. Um, what I was experiencing is a lot of headaches in the back of my head, and uh, I had some tingling in my fingers as well. So I wanted to get it checked out. I came in and I did, uh, you know, did all the, the necessary MRIs and scans, and we had a, you know, a pretty serious stenosis problem. Um, you know, the nerves were getting pinched, and uh, uh, after you know, a thorough consult, I decided to go ahead with the surgery on uh, C4 and C5. Uh, so tell us what your activity li is like now. You're, you're built like a bull, obviously you're doing <laughs> a lot of stuff. So, so what, do you, what was your goal before the surgery? What do you want to get back to and what have you been able to get back to now? Well, the re when I had the consult, I was afraid that like it would get even worse, and maybe I didn't see where I was ultimately at. But it was gonna, my arm was gonna atrophy. I was gonna lose some, um, you know, some mobility and so forth. So that really prompted me to go ahead and do the surgery. And since then, I've gradually worked my way back. I'm at the gym. I go five, five, six days a week, um, using the weights again. Um, back up to kind of the levels that I was at before. I'm just careful, I kind of modified things where I wouldn't hurt the neck. And um, everything's been great so far, Not, knock, on, knock on wood. Um, so show us good. how your neck movement. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about what was going on. So here's, here's Rodney's MRI scan. And what you can see is he has what's called a developmental stenosis, meaning that the size of his spinal channel is a bit smaller than it's supposed to be. So if we have a spinal canal that is this big, that is this big, and we put something in that canal that takes up space, it, it really is significant. If we take a spinal canal that's this big and we put that same structure in it, it really is pretty insignificant. Well, Rodney started out with a canal kind of like this. So he has a developmental narrowing of the canal. In other words, he, when he grew the channels, the tubes didn't get big enough. And as a result, even a, a moderate amount of arthritis really caused those channels to get pretty severely plugged up. So you can see below here, plenty of room. Above here, plenty of room. And this whole area in between here is very narrow with severe core compression. And on this picture, you can see looking at side view versus the end on view, the channel is supposed to be literally about 14 millimeters and his is about six millimeters. So his spinal cord in that channel is severely compressed. So he's a young, active individual with the goal is I want to be active again. I don't want to do something that's really going to compromise my mobility. I want to do an operation that's going to restore my ability to do pretty much everything that I want to do and do it in a way that it's not going to come back. So the traditional operation, a traditional solution to a problem like this, we have stenosis from C2 down to C7. The normal way of doing this is a laminectomy infusion, and typically you're going to fuse all of those segments. And in that case, he doesn't have any neck motion. He's not going back to the gym in the way he does it now. He's not somebody who's going to be able to do anything. Now, he can skydive, he can ski, he can mountain bike, he can do triathlons if he wants at this point, and he's not going to hurt this. So essentially what we did is we used a technique where we ultrasonically essentially just reshaped the bones. We took the bones that are too small and we just opened them up and rebuilt them. And in doing so, we took his spinal canal and made it from small to large. So essentially we took the person who has a really small channel and we converted them to a big channel. So even though he still has the same amount of arthritis, there's just room for it now. So realistically, you do whatever you want to do. You go out and you want to ski, you want to ride bikes, you want to weight lift, have at it. You look like you're doing a pretty good job at it now. Trying. And uh, this is just a, a way to rebuild spinal canals without using a lot of structure. And essentially we are able to reestablish a relatively normal situation versus altering your anatomy that, that really compromises your ability to do stuff. So go have fun. You don't need to come back. Very good. Thanks a lot, Doc. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Take care.